Mm. Let me see. He's the one. <laughs> Hi. Oh, God. Hey, how are you going? Oh, it's too long to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was down below. I didn't see how bad my hair was. Well, I went and brushed mine out because it was a little unruly in actual fact. It was a lot unruly. And now I've realised I'm the wrong side of you again, so I'm going to pop out and dump. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll put that on charge. Yep, oh, she's popped up, but she hasn't come back. <laughs> Hey, Karina, I can see that you are coming on. Here she comes. Yeah. I was supposed to change the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, the, not completely pop right out. Let me see if I've got the right things in there in the stream. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> um, oh, look, it's all right. I'm pressing buttons again, everyone. How are you all? <laughs> I love it. It's not a Friday night without pushing buttons. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I like pushing buttons. That's why, uh, yes, I should call it, well, should call it, no, I don't know how we'd call it that button. Pushing, right? <laughs> no, button profits. <laughs> I don't know. Get the fluff out your belly button. Oh, God. Oh, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah, but what I'm doing, and this this is part of the button pushing things and trying it out that I've been doing. <laughs> um, oh, what's Kim saying? Let's just say quickly. What's these? Karina saying it. I love it. Miss Keza saying hi, lovely ladies. Hello, hey, honey. Kim. And I'm fast sneaking up on that next one. Hi, Wendy. Lovely to see you. <laughs> I'm Kim from Tesla. But what's this one? I like that. That's the right side of the bed. I sleep on. Swapping sides like that, in and out. <laughs> what I what I do on my bed is I sleep right in the middle and I just roll over to the left. And when I feel, get sick of that, I roll over to the right. <laughs> I've got the whole bed to myself. We decided to do that. Uh, so, yeah. Got nothing to do with the snoring capacity of either of us. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear into the next room. That's fine. Oh, you've got good walls then. <laughs> we do. There is a wall between. Yeah. Uh, quite close. <laughs> and so Wendy's saying, no, definitely not. You two make us laugh every Friday night. Oh, you mean as far as the belly button fluff? No. <laughs> and we've got someone over from uh, YouTube because I have got it streaming Shiv. to YouTube. Hi, Shiv. Hey. And... Uh, Cute, good. It's good to see someone over on YouTube. Good evening. Yeah, can you ask a question? Well, you can. We're not guaranteeing that there's going to be any answers or <laughs> any cards or any anything. Who knows what happens? Um, but That's it. Put it there just in case. <laughs> <laughs> and Kim's just going, she's laughing again. Oh, uh, good. Hey, how, how are you? Hey, Michelle. And we've got Diane as well. Hey, honey. Good day. Oh, Penny's just popped in. <laughs> yeah, and Sandra's there. Oh, hey, hi, hey gorgeous. And having everyone laugh. I don't know. Why do people laugh at us? <laughs> <laughs> I think we laugh at ourselves more than that. Well, I figure so too. But, um, oh. I want to try the buttons. Hang on. <laughs> You've got too much energy, Roz. There's one of them which is amazing since I was so sleepy just before coming on. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else was yawning. <laughs> yeah, well, I obviously didn't get enough uh, shut-eye for myself uh, before coming on. Here we go. I'm going to do this, and I'm not sure how, how we do it. Now, hang on. I've got to do the solo. This is just an alert, and it might not work yet. Hang on. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a giveaway. But you've got to type Fritz in the comments. But the proviso of that is it's got to be on my page, as in at Ros Boundy on that <laughs> page. Um, did that finish? Yes, it yep. did. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I like that. Because, yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 
because if you go over to the at Ros Boundy page, I'll still see your comments in the stream. But what I created over there is if you I'm hoping it works. If you type in the word Fritz, F R I T Z, then you get the chance to by the end of the show, I'll do another one of those busy wheels. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm only doing it the once. It's only the once at the end of the show. So remember from this, see this, type in Fritz, how I've done that, but it's got to be on the at Ros Boundy page. So search for that, flip over there, say hello quickly, type in your Fritz, and you can come back to mytimetv.live if you'd like to or stay on the Ros Boundy page. Love it. <laughs> And I can already see, I don't, I don't know where the Fritz is coming up, whether it's in the My Time or whether it's on the At Ros Boundy page. Let me just put that in here. Um, does that come up in the comments when I put it there? Um, Did it come up? I've typed it into the post to all. It does, doesn't it? Does mm, it yes, up? it's there. I can see it. Yep. Does it come up highlighted? Because I haven't got my my time monitoring in the background yet. No, it hasn't come up as highlighted. It's just got at Ros Bounty. Oh, um. <laughs> so it's going to give you guys good practice. <laughs> how to use my, how to use your Facebook properly with the ads and stuff. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the, the chat box thing isn't going to trigger if it's on my time. It's only going to trigger if it's on the at Ros Boundy page. Okay. So see how that works. You understand it, don't you, Leah? I do, and I put mine there, but it hasn't triggered. What would you set oh, the time oh, for? What a bugger. Oh, I don't know. Well, I probably didn't create it properly. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> manually i don't know <laughs> Let me have it's supposed to go to a form that you fill that you just put in your name your facebook profile name and it puts it on a spreadsheet for me oh That's okay another thing to fiddle that i had to fiddle with so i'm not sure if it works did everybody's open up with a little form you know those google forms yeah so mine didn't because i went over and i did it and i haven't received anything yet Oh, you probably don't receive anything back. I'll just see if people's names are going in there. Hang on, hang on. I wrote Fritz and that's the last thing that happened. <laughs> uh, so there's not a form that opened up? No. You've got quite a few Fritzes going on over there, though. Oh, yeah, that means I've got to go back in. Look, guys, it might be that I'll do the results tomorrow morning <laughs> <laughs> and send, send it through to... Who is the winner? I'll do a little video of it if it's right. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It's called technology. Yeah, and it was worth a go. Yeah, you don't know unless you try this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to just have to ask Adair how to do that part of it. I, I thought I'd done it right, but I obviously haven't. Yeah, it's all linking up and all this <laughs> stuff. Do put the Fritz. Oh, she, she, she. Hang on, I went and just dropped that um, photo. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so annoying, isn't it? When I try pressing these buttons, I'm not <laughs> you of yourself. And I spent the whole afternoon doing it. Um, you yeah, know, it's probably just one simple thing that's missing. Oh yeah, it probably is. I'll have it, <laughs> I'll have it ready and sorted by the next one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, to anybody, just do the fritz. Don't worry about where it's going, and I'll just have to put them all in manually. And you will get the chance for a free reading. Um, that's the that's the prize. It's it is a free reading. Um, that <laughs> let's just pick a number I like that. What? Uh, Courtney says, let's just pick a number. <laughs> I haven't got the wheel set up for that. Let me show you. <laughs> the wheel set up for it's empty oh hang on how, how do i do that i've got to share screen don't i i'll show you the wheel because <laughs> you guys like how i press buttons don't you <laughs> just don't make us dizzy see, Can you see it? no oh in this space oh hang on <laughs> i have one more button oh there we go now we can see it I had 
<laughs> had to actually button and see it's solo and because <laughs> it's just that page popcorn nothing on it if i spin it it doesn't do anything yeah. if i put leanne and i put Roz. can i have something else fun popcorn <laughs> look at that page <laughs> you got popcorn in the middle of the wheel i'm not a fan of popcorn <laughs> Yeah, if, if I could have found a picture of a block of chocolate, I'd have done that. <laughs> See? <laughs> that. that. Yay, winner. <laughs> oh, goodness. oh, goodness. People will think we're going nuts for us. No, oh, well, I feel like I am. I spent so much time trying to nut that out today. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I gave up on the pots because it was still in my head in quite a few months ago. <laughs> I think if, uh, yeah, <laughs> it needs a bit of tweaking, but that's fine. Um, it's, one, <laughs> it's one of those things that does happen that when we play with things, at least it hasn't broken. It's just sort of, dis yeah, distracted, isn't it? We've got lots of yeah. things there, which is good. <laughs> when <laughs> we, we'll be fine. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I was wanting to, uh have a chat about too uh, and that is with those of you in the audience as well do we call them audiences oh, excuse me yeah <laughs> what? watching viewing yeah <laughs> yes. whatever um yeah, just ask what are some of the things that you do as a ritual type of a thing um, because it was just something that as I was watching a, um, oh, I'm just trying to think, YouTubes, they're really good, aren't they, depending on what you're saying, <laughs> it was along the lines of some of the work I'm doing as far as the Healy and then one or two of those little uh, videos came up with what I suppose was a bit of a, ritual it's a process do we call it the same thing when you're working in a system and getting things in a particular pattern is that part of what you'd almost call ritual or how do you see ritual what's the difference you know compared to what is habit what is system yeah what is ritual what we come into that being you know where it loses that i don't know specialness yeah. So, yeah. Do you have um, something yourself that's ritual? And, and you people out there, type in there if there's anything that you would actually consider that you do that you consider to be a ritual, as in different from uh, a habit or part of what you do. Uh, yeah. System. Yeah. I like Michelle's comment, not audience fans. <laughs> we got fans, Ross. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely, Michelle. Thank you. And do you know when you get to whatever number it is, you can register for the stars and something I found out today, uh, whipping through some of the stuff, um, the people who are being given the stars only get one cent per star. So yeah. um, that's something. Be aware, people, that when you are rewarding others, I mean, it's nice to have that recognition and everything, but it's not that the person receiving it gets the full amount. It's only 50% as well was the other part. Oh, so a star costs two cents, does it? I'm not sure. I couldn't quite find that out. One post said there's only 50% that they, that you know, you get when you get given stars, my time as well. I don't qualify too small. <laughs> I don't ah. the numbers. <laughs> Help build it up, please, people. At Ros Boundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not after it for that. Share. Yeah. Because <laughs> I did do a post about that this morning as far as, oh, okay. uh, you know, just that bit of difference in understanding of how people gift and reward and, you know, with what these systems are putting into place, you know, another derivative of a system, isn't it? And how virtualized yeah. it's almost become. One will follow the other and they're all rewarding and et cetera. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not a beef of mine, but it is a gripe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, someone has actually put what they are. So, ninety nine stars for a dollar forty nine. You're in Australia, Jenny, I presume, as in that's Aussie dollars. It just intrigues. Hmm. You know, it's it's that cost that the recipient doesn't. Well, I understand doesn't get the full amount yet with 
you know, what I'd posted this morning, buy me a coffee, you get 95% of it as the result. Yeah, right. At that type of thing. Um, Interesting. Only because I found out some of the, <laughs> some of the, uh, this morning when I was putting comments up, they were stars, not um, emojis. I thought they were emojis that were missing, but it wasn't. I went back. You know, and they're stars, so people are gifting them. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, right. Something, you know, just have an awareness around it is all. Oh, it's lovely to see so many Fritzes there. I like. <laughs> um, now, Fritz sandwich, anyone? Yeah. Do you eat it with sauce? Do you have a I actually <laughs> bought Fritz at shopping today. I haven't bought it for years. <laughs> I was thinking a nice warm piece of toast with a bit of butter, fritz and sauce, oh. folded into a sandwich to make half a sandwich. Oh. That was going to be my lunch and I didn't get there. Oh, so you still got the fresh fritz in the fridge? <laughs> yeah, that's tomorrow's lunch. <laughs> Isn't it? The synchronicity of the fact that I chose fritz as a keyword that didn't work. <laughs> I, I reckon. thinking about getting your fritz for your shopping. <laughs> Uh, I've got to. I've got to stop doing this because I did a reading for a lady the other day, and all day before, like I did the reading at four o'clock. My husband's got noisy shoes. Um, did the reading at four o'clock all day. I was craving roast lamb, so I actually went out and bought a roast lamb before doing the reading and put it on to cook while I was doing oh, yeah. the reading. And I said to her, all the way through, I was thinking roast lamb, roast lamb. And then I started to smell it. And I said to her, what is it with roast lamb with your dad? She goes, that was his and my favourite. And I'm like, damn, I've been thinking about it all bloody day. I had to go and buy one. And did they And did they used to fight over the little burnt-on gravy bits that are in the bottom of the roasting pan? No, I'm not too sure, but she said it had to be shoulder blade and it had to be rolled. And I went, oh, my God, that's what I bought. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> Where I usually... In the past when I've done roast lamb, I would buy a leg of lamb, but for yep. this some reason I put the leg of lamb back and picked up the rolled shoulder. Yep, so yep. I, oh, My favourite is the front leg. It, it was the yep. full leg and having the shank on as well. You cook that in with yep. um, but It was always part I liked. Being <laughs> from a farm, Dad usually did do our own sheep, so it was mutton. It wasn't just your little uh, lamb yeah. type thing. It was a good old... And his favourite was the two-tooth hogget. It always go on about the two-tooth hogget. <laughs> <laughs> but it was mutton. <laughs> it was oh, mutton. okay. And it really is just richer flavour. And I absolutely love it, but it's harder to get that because they don't butcher that size or age anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't know a friend. Kim's just saying she gets the word Rachel comes up on her ghost box all the time. I love it. Whoa, hang on, Kim. Fritz yeah. and chips. Fritz That's different. Goes, oh, yeah. See, I don't have <laughs> fritz and chips. Ooh, you know, <laughs> like and sauce. Like. Got to have sauce with it. <laughs> and hold <laughs> my um, Melinda now that I'm down there at that end of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, fritz is what we call, no, you don't call Fritz Devon. Devon South Australia. Australia. South Australian is the only state, I think, that calls it Fritz, isn't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've only ever known it as Fritz. Mm. Yeah, I think so. on the coast it's called Devon, but I reckon South Australia it's definitely called Fritz. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and, whoa, this is Fritz on toast. <laughs> We've got people thinking about Fritz. <laughs> hey, oh, look, hang on. There's Marie uh, saying two tooth oh, okay. was her dad's favourite too. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful, rich flavour. They were lovely. Lovely, lovely. I don't think I've ever heard of it, two tooth hogget. Yeah, I mean that's how you tell the age of the sheep, of course, ah. of the, the number of teeth that's in their mouth, and if they get past the two tooth, they're starting to get a bit old, a lot long in the leg, older. Oh, okay. Tougher. Long in the leg. <laughs> they look a bit lean. <laughs> and <laughs> a bit past their tasty days. <laughs> well, the taste is there, but I think you've got to really cook it longer. It's probably a bit like the cocky that you've got to boil the cocky with the rock and throw the cocky out and eat the rock. Um, <laughs> that, that type of thing. And Caitlin saying hello. Hey, Caitlin. <laughs> there you go. Oh, like Marie's actually saying Devon has a totally different flavour. I've got no idea. Ah, um, Okay. I don't know if I've bought Devon or not. I just asked for Fritz and that's what I get. But I haven't asked for it. 
in other states. I haven't travelled much. Yes. Yeah. And Penny's saying American here, so I have no clue as to what it is. <laughs> um, let's process that. <laughs> What is it? Um, it is a lot of meat scraps that has a high component of fat mixed in with it. Lots of flavour. <laughs> it does have some flavour, some spices, but it, it is the more fattier offcuts from ham, and, if not ham, um, pork and beef and I'm not too sure now. <laughs> I'm not sure. Come on, Australians, help us explain it. Um, I mean, we used to have it described to us that it's all the scrapings off the slaughterhouse floor and you'd sort of, oh, yeah, but it's not. It isn't. Um, no. So pig and cow? Much not pig. wasting the pig and cow. Okay. Pig and cow, where from? Uh, Caitlin. I could go to the fridge and open it and get it out. Oversized sausage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. And cat, I'm not putting yours up there at all. <laughs> Lips. And... Lips. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> cat. <laughs> no. Nothing's going to put me off of my Fritz and Sauce pizza toast. Oh, no. No, that, exactly. And uh, Jenny's saying that on that, it, it is oh, what okay. we call it seven. I think you might mean Devon. On the east coast, and your mum makes Devon rolls. Yeah, they're Devon ah. potatoes in them. Oh, mashed potatoes in the rolls. That's a nice idea. Wow. What mum used to do was slice it with their skin still on it so that when you actually cooked it, and she put a bit of spicy something, more than likely Vegemite, and wished to see a sauce mixed together, <laughs> called it Devon fruits. <laughs> and it would come up <laughs> on the end, and that's when you'd put the uh, mashed potato in it. <laughs> yeah. It so that was nifty. Um, oh, cheese. Put cheese with your fritz and sauce. Yum. I have to try that one. Actually, I think my husband does that. I have, well, I don't. I, I just like the fritz and sauce sandwich or on toast. Yeah. That's my, that's my favorite. <laughs> the cats go like that with the little emojis because <laughs> I want to show that one. <laughs> I get a lot of images, cat. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it is, isn't it? So, oh, wonderful, you. Sharon. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it, honey. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying them. Yes. Oh, they're gorgeous cards, aren't they? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know where the heck I got up to as far as <laughs> my usual way, and this is where that ritual stuff comes into it because my usual way in doing a live stream with nearly every time that we do it, I will start at the top of the list and work down and hopefully not miss anyone. And if you're too late to the show, well, you were late, weren't you? And you missed out. <laughs> that, that's my use us on it. Um, so that is part of what my um, sequencing of doing things is. I wouldn't say it's a ritual, but yeah. what do you do? Oh, I just go with the flow, <laughs> whatever I'm guided to most of the time sort of thing. So I wouldn't say that I've got any real rituals in that sense. Like um, I, I'll let you know a secret. I've been really bad at meditating lately because that's gone out the window of every day doing that. But I was trying to make that like a healthy habit <laughs> sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just... Put my head down, get stuck in, get done what I've got to do, and I don't even think about what I'm doing really a lot of the time. Yep. Yep. And as, Last minute thoughts and, most of the time. And as you can see, I'm going to play with some more buttons again here. It's my turn to drink now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. There's so many fritzes there, and you can pop over to the at Ros Boundy page and do that. And I'm going to fix that jolly uh, whatever the link that I've got. <laughs> you might get the. I don't know if you'll get the update later. But anyway, I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of, Roz? We were watching the water, is it water volleyball? No, not volleyball. What is the Olympic sport? They're playing with the ball in the, she's gone on me now, in um, the Olympics say, with the team sports and the water they got to go backwards and forwards with the ball to get in the net. In the corner of the court, if they foul, there's a timeout square, little red square bunted off that they've got to go and sit in. 
when they get a time out, <laughs> the yeah, naughty corner. I haven't seen that, but I haven't watched all of the Olympics. I was watching some of the rowing. What a polo. That's it. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, Jenny. Yeah, I thought it might have been when you were just Yeah. Now, I was just going to sit because I know some of you have been, <laughs> I know some of you have been uh, writing down what you might feel as some of your rituals. Uh, we put that, wasn't it? The, um, oh, excuse me. Um, Kim's saying not a fan of popcorn either. I mean, there's nothing else. Kim oh, look, I love to put it in chocolate with salt. I don't like the icing sugar on it much. Um, yeah. Now here, Sarah has put part of what she considers something she does as a ritual, standing in front of the mirror every day and saying positive things, rubbing essential oils on the wrist. That's a wonderful. I love it. Um, yeah. Uh, when you were saying um, yourself, as far as the meditations go, um, because really in some sense, uh, I mean, it's something that I have tried to do myself as well, doing a daily meditation. Yeah, it hasn't worked over the years. <laughs> and Michelle was just mentioning there too, ritual is something you do for yourself. Well, yeah. it can be or it can be group. Also, like what I was thinking as well, um, having been brought up uh, in a very strong Christian upbringing background of methodism into uniting church i mean it wasn't so much a fundamental type of a religion with all the ritual but there certainly is religions that still even now hold to rituals as part of what their worship is and their services and prayer being one of the big ones i suppose ylang ylang oils that ros chose me over a year ago we're still using your angling. It's a beautiful <laughs> oil. It's a wonderful oil. Yeah. Can I just quickly answer Penny at the bottom? She's just asking if we do readings here. She's in a different time zone. Oh. Uh, yes, honey, we will get to some readings shortly. Just we usually chat first, sort of. Yeah. Just how the flow goes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that one. So hang around. We do get to it. <clears throat> like Leanne said, at some point, and I've got a frog in the throat, maybe I'll do it, which I haven't had yet. I'm anticipating. <laughs> <laughs> Marie's having a bath a couple times a week with magnesium oils, essential oils, and listening to a meditation. Beautiful. I got to the stage with my meditations, I would just go so deep into them, I could sit there for two hours and time with just, you know, stand still type of thing. Well, it felt like it's standing still, but it didn't. Yeah. It was weird. Yeah. I suppose, like, it really is different. Uh, mm. in whatever way you're choosing to do something that's a little more along that ritualised um, yeah. technique. Because I have done some shaman training and there certainly is ritual involved in that. And yeah. it was interesting watching someone else who was, I can't even think where it was, perhaps or somewhere like that, who as part of how she completed her show was with the more Wiccan, uh, you know, with the Blessed Bee and that type of thing. And I sort of thought, I wonder what sort of rituals she might put into place mm. before she was actually even putting on a show. Um, because mine in the mornings, as in, you know, is it a ritual for me that I actually do the daily Lenham and card spread reading? Um it is, in a sense, because I do get myself ready, even though I might be just, oh, shit, I can't do that anymore with that finger. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I, I used to be able to click my fingers. Um, you know, straight away, if I've only just woken up, brushed my hair, come in with some clothes on and sat and got the stuff ready, I still have that time where I'm preparing the screen and everything that's just part of the process but it's the as soon as i'm turned around facing my table with the cards in hand i'm actually putting a little ritual in place to actually connect and and yeah. get the messages from the cards in whatever way mm -hmm. spirit got for us to do that setting that intention yeah so yeah. It is. so that is in itself a bit of a ritual yeah. um, now where did i get up to in these mm -hmm. Just while you're looking at that, can I just go back to Penny because I should have read the rest of her message. Sorry, hun. Uh, yeah. She's just looking for some instruction on how she can go around making a booking 
with us because she is in a different time zone. So, Han, the best thing would be to reach out to myself or Roz on our Facebook pages. Um, for me, I would certainly book you in manually um, rather than through my calendar and work at a time that sort of works for you, Han. And the description of how is should be in now. It depends whether you're looking at a desktop that probably has the description <laughs> up there or on a mobile device, something like that. I mean, my desktop it's actually showing probably oh, wrong way that direction in you know above the chat stream. Yeah. If you've got it sitting that way, yeah. it and is in the description. Spart Spiritual Sparks is Leanne's page and page. Yep. system. Yeah and uh yeah i think that's i've got my ros bounding page there yeah. as well so just go to the messages yeah. to start with. so penny you don't need to apologize honey i only read the top half of your message i didn't read the whole thing yeah. and yeah. Uh, i certainly do whatever i do it's pretty much online recorded video if you can be in there with me at the same time yeah, you know, mutual arrangement that's how i do it that's good if it's not a I do the reading and send it to you as a video. Yeah. So, yeah. And here we'll go for Marie. She, you did mention that one, didn't you? That Marie does the magnesium flakes, mm. hers and a meditation. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one where you were looking again at what Penny was saying. <laughs> yeah. Different way to go about it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Yep. And she's yep. just wanting no costs and stuff. But if you go into my website, the honey, uh, leannewinston.com, under services, you'll find it all there. Yeah. And isn't it wonderful, really, how we do um, mm. enable each other with how, you know, that support really is there in a community style. Oh, yeah. We're helping each other with those types of links. And Kat sort of suggested as well yeah. how to. Uh, mine does have the booking to McCallanley, I think, there, the link. It depends how you choose to. You just click on the name and hit Messenger or something too, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> always that too. <laughs> There's ways. <laughs> exactly. There's ways. Um, now, whoops. Now, oh, I'm right down the bottom now with that, aren't I? So water polo, that was where there was several people. <laughs> I was thinking polo is to do with the horses. <laughs> <laughs> so that five you. winks I got didn't help me tonight. You do get the polo cross, I think that's called, isn't it? Oh, is it? Horse riding one, polo cross. cross yeah, polo cross. Um, water polo or water volleyball, depends which one it is. Yeah, volleyball goes over the net. This but one's without the net. <laughs> I think if it's, it's nets each time, end, that's a polo, water polo. It's, like to that. me, it's soccer, but in water, but they use their hands yeah. instead of their feet. Yeah, it'd be a bit funny if they tried it with their feet, wouldn't it? And they have naughty corners. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I like what Caitlin's put up. She loves the idea of the Fritz slice to be a bucket for the mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, Tiffany, just above that, just a random question about the COVID vaccine. Look, I don't have an opinion hmm. I on it. I think informed choice. Yeah. Yourself as to what truthful information is there. Base it on information by the doctors, the scientists, and what you can source that way. Yeah. And um, one way or another, it's up to you. And for me, I personally wasn't keen to have it. I haven't had it as yet. But I, I, I don't know, I just had this feeling they had to do some more, like, more testing and stuff on it because it's been very rushed and they really are sort of, it's a guessing game in a sense to me. But now that I've got the opportunity to travel around Australia working more, if I'm going to go in and out of different states, I know I'm going to have to have it. My mum made that point the other day and I'm sort of starting to come to terms with the idea. Yeah. So it's and going to happen. It's got to happen one day. I know that. I think that's where, I mean, because I've had my first shot, but my reasons behind it were pretty much for family reasons yeah. and connecting, not being yeah. limited of visiting particular family members. Yeah, and look, it's the intention that you go into it with. If it's yeah. uh, intend that it's for the greater good of all, 
and that there will be no harm to yourself in the process, um, decide as you think it's fit for your circumstance, really, basically. Um, The the virus itself will last a lot longer at the moment. So, and I just Mm -hmm. saw there someone commenting about Fritz. It's like a cheaper version of bacon. I'm thinking, Melinda, how... Not bacon at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just seeing Rashina's comment. I'm seeing that one. <laughs> Fritz or Devon. Yeah, Devin. I wouldn't have thought it tasted like bacon. Fritz is its own thing. Yeah. Maybe when it's cooked, it could be because I like fried Fritz that curls up. Mm-hmm. So I'm just seeing Rashina's comment down at the bottom. She says, I took the vaccine after one week, I got the virus. I'm at day 10 and we are all ill at home. Our thoughts go out to you, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, Look, speedy it, recovery. It is like anything that it's going to be, whatever the body is going to take mm. on. And I think really the more I'm working with the Mahili device and how important with anything, the intention that we put to actions it, it really is that focus on the intention of what we're wanting as results. You know, yeah. it's the thoughts create. So we need we need to be thinking of the positives uh, yeah. in our thoughts, uh, not even considering the negatives. I think in many respects it's why I will read the positives in cards and not even think yeah. all of the negative interpretations that people put to it. Um, yeah. You know, in the guidebooks, it's why I don't read them. <laughs> it's... Um, Having an awareness of what the possibilities are in a balanced way, uh, as far as books go too. Um, oh, what Sarah said just above that, because we will get into the cards shortly. <laughs> Sarah's been seeing 13 for months now. You know it's a sign from your guides being with you and encouraging you. So the last few days you've been feeling off and on the number 16. Then I see signs. Ah, your dad's birthday was the 16th. There you go. Mm. Since that's your forte, you want to see (laughs) (laughs) Um, Reading that, honey, straight away I got the tickle to the nose, so I do get the reference to he lets you know that he is around you by tickling the nose. So if you're finding yourself sort of constantly touching or rubbing your nose, please know that is his energy around you as well. I get lots of love and pride that comes through and a beautiful cheeky smile with his energy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is, uh, there's so many different ways that we can have messages shown to us by spirit too with the signs and yeah. so why is that coming up like that? Uh oh, pressing a button. Oh, sorry, hang on, I'm looking at <laughs> 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 it all it's really scary if that's how you're thinking of it. Um just following on from intention. Yeah. Feel to that healing essence of it's building on what immunity you already have so you know just feel that positive through it it's that silver lining think the positive now we're going to go up to the cards if i can find where we were to start with um because <laughs> i want to go back to my little ritual going from the start <laughs> working down let's see if it works <laughs> there's tiffany i'm hoping that it's the first one that's there I'm sure someone will tell me if I miss them and it's quite <laughs> likely. Now, was I doing cards or was I doing the charms tonight? Uh, any, many, money, mo. Oh, shit. Oh, there goes a charm. What was that, Ross? Sorry. <laughs> At least it was the S word, not the other one. I think I'm not doing them. I'm going to do the cards. She's lost a charm. <laughs> I'm just going to what you've lost, you make up in person, Roz. I'm just going from the top because I can't shuffle. So, <laughs> okay. So, honey, the wings card. Oh, I'm getting reflection. I haven't got my light on tonight. So, um, let me <laughs> sort of blind myself for a second. Yeah, there we go. I lit, up, lit up my owl in the background. You can oh, see cool. It. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hang on. You can sort of see it if I point the right way. You can way. see the light. Yeah. Just so the owl lit up tonight. (laughs) Yep. So, honey, it's time to spread your wings. Look at what it is that you want to do and take flight. All right. So things are starting to come to a head. 
and here's another time to do something but this one it's actually to plant the seeds so that you can grow the seeds that you sow are what you're going to reap and you'll gain from that harvest so what are you actually wishing for yourself and plant those seeds yeah Shiv, you can certainly ask a, a question, hun. Just put it in the comments. <laughs> you can still keep, for those who haven't seen my little thingy about the fritz, you can certainly put that in there. Hang on, I might just show that while we do another shuffle. And I'll do this and we'll do that while you sort your cards out. <laughs> You've got them upside down, inside out, <laughs> yeah. round and round. And I've just got to close a lid on that charm set before I tip the whole thing on. <laughs> My life. That would be a lot of charm flying. Oh, yeah. Yes, it will. So type in Fritz and I'll sort out how I'm putting it in that uh, spinner for later. Okay. Just a reminder for those who've come in midway. Okay. It is just for, it's just a little giveaway for a free reading from me. I didn't pass this through the end at all. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want to. <laughs> Can I have a sleep first? <laughs> yeah, where, where else do we go? That was Tiffany, wasn't it? So I've got to go further down. There's lots of fritzes. It is making me hungry, <laughs> even now. And I'm hoping that those who were there on the YouTube are still, oh, there's Mum. I didn't see Mum there before. Hey, Mum. I've <laughs> seen her comment about fritz sandwiches on Sunday. Oh, that's right. I put up the comment, didn't I, about the fritz sandwich. Um, uh... Michelle, you're the next one I can see asking for a card. Oh. All right, so honey, um, look at your own intuition. Try, um, acknowledge what is coming up, the signs, knowing that you're not alone. The um, Align yourself in that spiritual energy. I just feel the intuition is sort of pushing through at the moment. It's time to acknowledge it. And I think too with that dog, it really is the loyalty, the best mate, all those things that you have around you when you're really in that zone of friendship, someone that you can really trust. So you deserve the friendship, the loyalty and support. Feel that so that it is the unconditional love that you're having as the focus, not yeah. putting conditions on things. Just think of the dog as they look at you. It really is unconditional love. Be that for others as well. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say to Lisa's question, she's asking about a cat that passed away a couple of days uh, nights ago honey my heart goes out to you and the your family i do get very much at peace cat was ready to go and went in its own way own time yep okay yeah i'm feeling that i mean yes um they do mm. pass as their as their time is there and that's <laughs> what courtney said to virtual paper rock and scissors that's what the competition will be when i get the <laughs> <laughs> i want to see you do the rock <laughs> Oh, that's the coffee in the rock that I threw the rock, threw the coffee out of the rock. Um, <laughs> and I'm not even going to go there. It's those darn gremlins. Um, oh, it's just a fact. Yeah. The fact They're into I like some of the buttons sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Kalisha? Kalisha? Oh, goodness. Kalisha. Pretty name. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I've got the rise card, honey. It's very much time to take um, take a step back and look within. Rise above the things that are stopping you from moving forward at the moment, okay? It's time to refocus. And part of that for the connection with the tree is Mother Earth grounding so that you actually have that uh, solid base, that connection into Mother Earth and what we do with, um the the juice i suppose from mother earth in that cosmic sense is we're grounding in our physical but we're actually reaching for what is our cosmic or spiritual connection it just depends how you look at it so take the time out to restore your energy in between as well mm. as taking those flights now we yeah, are moving down moving down uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've, we've got a lot of comments here, haven't we? <laughs> we have. Lots of Fritz too. They're still coming through. I love it. Yeah, lots and lots of Fritz. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh who's is that comment? Jenny, you're saying that it's the same as putting up a GoFundMe page. You don't get the full amount of money donated. Wow, that's interesting. Who I didn't realise that. that. I did know that, but I wasn't sure how, well, I don't know the proportion that is a 
fee or management yeah. or whatever. Most charities these days even have that sort of a feature where where you're expecting that all of the money that you donate to, um, and I'm thinking the big fundraisers where some hasn't even started going out uh, for the mm. Portugal funds and all the rest, and the fights over it, you sort of start to wonder. Yeah, yeah. it's all a very interesting thing when big money starts to be involved. Oh, fried fruits and eggs is yummy. Yes. <laughs> With sauce. Fruits. I'm toast. And, there, and there's the ones that mum was saying, ordering it for fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, slow cook. Man. I like my fruit sandwiches hot, mum, toasted. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like slow cook lamb is really good too. Yeah. Uh, I actually haven't tried that. That's something I should do in the slow cook. I've got one. Beautiful. No, uh, pressure oh, cooker. Pressure. I like my pressure cooker. I'll yeah, use. my pressure cooker is a slow cooker as well. It's just different yeah. settings. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, mine is just a pressure cooker, not a slow cooker. And, oh, unless I do it slow simmer on the without the top on. Yeah, that'll do it. And Melinda's saying she loves her ghost box. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they are fun. Because you'll be playing with yours again. Yeah. Oh, nice. We were supposed to do a show Thursday night, but because of COVID restrictions, I I spoke to the venue tonight and well late this afternoon. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it, so we'll just reschedule it probably for October, I think, because oh, it's downstairs in the cellar, um, so it's very limited with space. <laughs> we can't get, you know, one person <laughs> per four square metres. <laughs> I was saying, I can't go Thursday night. I'm at Meningi and coming back, and then I <laughs> switch over clothes and everything to go to Wyala, and I couldn't have. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> you would have been better of staying here than I if we were doing that if I had a spare oh, bed. I was thinking of that, Jenna. Oh, yeah. Um, can't, oh, cat, you're not keen on Fritz. Is that because it's got the lips and etc.? <laughs> Ah, oh, sorry. That's the images she gets every time she thinks about having that. <laughs> and I'm still trying to go down, down, down. <laughs> Where are we up to? I'm at two twenty fifty four. Can you see anything even sooner than that? Um, uh, twenty fifty four. It takes um, to go through all of these. It does. Twenty fifty four. Yep, there's the lips. Um, <laughs> cheese and fruits. There we go, Tiffany. No, Tiffany. yours wasn't it? That was the top one. She was first. Oh, about the COVID. Yep. Yep. Here we've got Mary. Hey, Mary. Mary. Oh, we'll do Mary next. The card I have pulled out, honey, is the moon card. It's very much about um, the new moon brings new cycles of energy. So prepare for new beginnings. Okay. And look at some of that energy is going to include as well the palette of being creative. Mm. Express yourself. Learn something new. Put some colour into your life as well. <laughs> really delve into that expressiveness of, of how you can be creative. Yeah. Mary And Michelle says you missed her. Oh. Can I have a card, please, I ladies? Knew, I knew if I missed someone. That <laughs> so where's that to? Uh, near the bottom, twenty one nineteen. I haven't. I don't know about up, ups. I want to say ups. Oh, there. Here we go. Yeah. What does upstairs mean to you, honey? With a male, older male energy. Okay. So the card I've got coming together is the rings. It's time to come together for the commitment, the promises, and the protection that comes with that. And as soon as you said upstairs and I saw this picture of the chest, I sort of thought, oh, there's a hidden chest in the attic. That might be what Ooh. <laughs> That's about abundance coming in all sorts of forms and be open to receiving. So what's up? Yeah, what does upstairs mean to you? <laughs> Places yeah. where people used to hide things. Mm. Well, people still do in their roof cavities, don't they? Even single stories. Oh, yeah. No, people use it as storage. I wouldn't. Well, <laughs> too much dust. No, it's not. It's amazing how much, how little dust they're actually used. When we built the house at Meningi, um, there were three things that I definitely wanted. Uh, one was air conditioning. One yep. was an attic ladder so that we could put the boards across the beams yep. to have some floor storage space. Not to live in, you know, to make it a room or yeah. anything, just to have space to put 
Christmas yeah. tree. <laughs> well, that sort of thing and records, basically, uh, things that we didn't want to be easily accessible yeah. otherwise. And we did have big fault, big bad thing to do, a hot water service in the ceiling. Ah. Uh. Don't ever put them up there. No, they leak. <laughs> it did. Um, and a spa bath. So the thing that lasted the longest was the attic ladder because three times after using the spa bath, there was a pipe, there was a thingy that blew up like a football blew off of that. So we couldn't use it like it was pipe that was the outside. So it blew off from the pressure pump thingy. Yeah, it's because that too much pressure. Yeah, it was. It was the wrong fitting. Um, but the place that sold the bath to us burnt down, so we didn't have recourse to sort of <laughs> So we didn't ever use the spa part very often at all. It was years later that we actually got yeah. it. Yeah. Michelle's just saying she actually has most of her stuff in storage at the moment until she finds somewhere to, uh, new to live. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the attic <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um where was i up to we got to the water polo i know there was some who were in youtube i'm hoping they haven't gone right past that wanted a card as well i'm trying to look for a little youtube logo there i oh, was at 2050 something and 54 now i've probably missed it yeah 2054 was the number that you quoted before. Wasting the pig and the cow, not wasting the pig and the cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we answered that one. And Tiffany, and then we just did Mary, and now we're up to, I'm back to where we were just then. <laughs> um, do we want to do one, for, just pull a card for Penny? Yeah. Okay, honey, the uh, chameleon has come out for you and it's very much about being seen. Stand, come forward, um, stand in the light sort of thing. Don't stand back in the shadows and sort of get, I don't know, I want to say let people pass by you. Get their attention. And especially with the wings that are so beautifully shiny, bright silver here on this beautiful butterfly with its heart, as that centre, um, spread your wings, take flight. There are no limitations. Remember, it's only you that are putting the limitations on yourself. Really let that transformation from what might feel to be the ugly caterpillar into the beautiful butterfly be in its fullness and take flight. Show off. Be that fullness. Yeah. Time to shine. Mm -hmm. Yes. And whoa, that one came alive. Did we do a card for Jenny? We it one? went flying, Jenny. <laughs> Mine haven't because I'm not shuffling. They're steadily sitting there waiting for me. Oh, hang on. I have a look at the difference here. You've just got wings, was what we just done. Mm. What we've got for Jenny, there is a <laughs> the butterfly. I didn't even know there was two different of them. Yeah, there is. I haven't yeah. used them often enough to notice there was the two. And somebody likes the butterflies. Oh, <laughs> <that you? laughs> yeah. Honey, um, I've pulled out the stag. So be observant. Look at the bigger picture. Take note of what is actually going on because there is more going on than meets the eye at the moment. Okay. And you certainly have got those around you who are loved, loved ones. So really look for the signs. It's almost like seeing the feather drop in front of you, that type of sign. So the butterflies being that message for you that your loved ones are around you. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, uh, Rashina, some guidance for her health. Ooh. Magic does happen, honey, the unicorn. So uh, trust in your transformation, enjoy the changes, uh, feel that magic that is coming through. And with anything that's to do with your health, trust those that you are seeking guidance from as far as the medical system and the rest. It is a time of coming together with what is needed that is, and as you can see at the bottom, it is protection and promises. Um, they're not empty. They're done with the best knowledge that we have at this point in time. 
to help you. So um, seek, take guidance from your intuitive senses as to where you need to seek for that help, okay? There you go. Uh, Louisa, there we go. Hey, honey. <laughs> up there, down the list. <laughs> uh, I've got the turtle, honey. It's about encounters, persistence. Um, take things slow and steady. Know what it is you're working towards, honey, and keep that focus. Um, I want to say be patient sort of thing. So I just get the reference patience and everything will fall into place, slow and steady. And to follow on from that with the bow and arrow, you're right where you need to be. Your direction is clear and you're on target. Now, it doesn't matter um, which does uh, support the turtle, yeah. um, but right at the right time when you're needing to actually aim straight and true, the bow and arrow will get that with speed. So when the decision's made to do something, it will be a speedy pathway for it, yeah. regardless of where you as the turtle itself might be. Okay, perfect timing in the perfect yeah. place and the arrow will go through, okay? Shiv's asking me, Leanne, can you please see me? <laughs> I can see your question down in the bottom, honey. Yes. Right at the very oh, end, 21 20. Yeah, I think I've lost Shiv's comment now. They were one of the first, well, they were the first one on the YouTube that I saw, so I think there's my... Oh. I just found it. When will I get married and will I meet the guy I will marry? What what time marks that one? 2116. Whoa, my thing. Ah, that one. Yes. Yeah. I see the number three around you, honey. So whether it's, I don't want to say three months, I'm kind of feeling like I've got three years around that. For me, the four and five add up to the nine. <laughs> and there's the threes. Yeah, and the nine is three threes are nine. Have a look at that sequence. <laughs> I love so it. Really interesting synchronicity there. It is. So you're right where you need to be. Just go, I want to say, have fun, let the inner child come out and play and enjoy life. Don't focus on when is Mr. Right going to come because they usually fall into place when you least expect it because you're giving in, you're letting go. Exactly. So just let it go. Let go of the expectation of results and just enjoy. Love it. Love what you yeah. do. Yep. And we got to, oh, there we go. There was Shiv's further up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Um, then we had, we've done Kalisha's, haven't we? Um, 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 Carmel, another YouTuber. So it's lovely to see um, all of you on YouTube. If you could, please, I'd love to have you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like the videos. <laughs> love it. But it's all your own choice. <laughs> yeah. So the card I've pulled out for you and Carmel is the emotions. Acknowledge the feelings while being present in the moment. So look at what's coming up. Acknowledge them. Release them. And four and seven is 11, a good power number, one of those master ones. Hope. <laughs> that it's going to happen. You've got 47. I had 46. <laughs> I just was, I thought, oh, what number was mine? I was looking at my card. And thinking, oh, okay. I love oh, it. We're going to run in sync tonight. No snaps, but in sync. So true, isn't it? I oh, um, love it. I'm just trying to find the next one. Is Have we done something with Matt? No. No. Oh, honey. How are you going? Ooh. My father in law is having surgery. Do you pick up anything? and how it will go. I feel like there's going to be a small complication through his surgery, honey, but I do feel that the outcome will be positive to what you're expecting. Okay, so sending him lots of healing as well. Yeah, and the dream catcher, it really is putting your focus on the dreams and what you're wanting for him or what he's wanting for himself too. So it would be thinking, feeling fully that positives of a good yeah. outcome for it as well don't even think of the negative side okay and keep on going cat she would like to have oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the 
current relationship. <laughs> no name. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> The hard card has come out, honey. Offer love, feel love, be motivated by love. Open your heart up and surrender to it and let it flow. And here we have three and eight equals 11 as well. So another <laughs> number. And it's the stalk. It's a time for spiritual beginnings and the birth of new things. Unexpected news is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Where the mind goes. <laughs> oh, look, um, It'll, it'll grow as it needs to as a babe in the woods. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything more. <laughs> and Marie, she'd like to have a card tonight too. Oh, oh look at the unicorn. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, beautiful avatar, isn't it? And I love yeah. it. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, so the protection card has come out for you, honey. It's very much about God and the light surrounding you. Watch uh, over you. Uh, oh, God, I can't even talk English today. I'm going to start by reading this out to you. May God and may your guided light surround you, watch over you, and help protect you on your journey. So know, and I'm going to say loved ones are around you protecting you because I do feel like you've got a male figure that does watch over you, hun, and has for quite a while. And have a lot of beautiful colours in this and the strength that you can feel and take from this because it really is offering you strength. So that inner roar empowers you. Stand up for what you need to be standing up for and exercise that roar. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to do it here. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be the best at bringing the cows up. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a good voice. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Emma, the card that's come out for you is the boat card. It's time for change and encounters, new journeys are happening. So just explore that journey. And as you move through your journey too, your words can sting, watch your tongue and choose your words wisely. I think sometimes, uh, you know, the eagerness in, in wanting to express ourselves as we do, how we used to, that we can sometimes trip over what is habit, what can be something that we're not really aware of, how it affects others. Just have that mindfulness around it, okay? I think that's where it's just have an awareness around what words you're using. Yeah. Uh, we did shifts, didn't we? Yes. And we've got Jessica next. I just realised oh. what time is. <laughs> just... I know, time has gone fast, hasn't it? So the butterfly, honey. Uh, look for the signs and the confirmation from above that your loved ones are around you. So look for the signs. And it's also going to mean there will be some spiritual awakening and guidance along that pathway as well. So... Your higher vibrations rise from within. Your spiritual path is calling you. So if you're feeling that leading from beyond or the other side, take note of it. Uh, still question. Don't always accept automatically what you're receiving. Mm -hmm. Question it and use your own intuitive senses to help guide you, okay? Now we've got Keza here with her request for a card as well. <laughs> Trust, trust will we'll, trust it will all work out. Know the sun will rise in the morning and the moon will set in the evening. Okay, and find your inspiration, your creativity, and growth in between Perfect. that morning and evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big thing: is allow yourself to be creative because that um, is a very big part of being intuitive too. It a way is. to move energy. Feel into the sense that you have of where, you, where you're moving into as far as the, oh, I like that, I might try that. That's part of the intuition as well. Even our, mm. it might not be a finding your passion, it's how we ourselves in our personalities and characters are designed to desire something that we've, we're moving into because it is part of our mm. life purpose. Yeah. Um, just uh, that one, romance on the horizon, question mark, from Elena. I'm not sensing it at the moment, honey. Yeah, I'm getting <laughs> Yeah. I think there's more time out needing for. Yeah, I've got to be patient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Self, 
I'm not think self development growth. It's not quite along that line, but there's there's something Still, needing to settle. I think. Yeah, and sometimes it's about doing the work on yourself, letting go of the past, the blockages, open your heart out, and just allow it to flow. Oh goodness, goodness, we have got quite a lot further. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to have time for it honestly. wow i see what you mean right, look, i'm still at 21 16 here this will be the last one that i think we can do did we do a card for emma oh, um, we did i think we did oh look i will do Anita saying we missed her who Anita. yeah that's the one i'm looking at now and then i'll do the next youtube because it's only two comments down yep under the fritzes so we'll do this one i'll be making in my business it's a good one i've got a yes with that honey change is good moon as the card so a new moon brings those <laughs> and energy so ah uh, snap oh that's <laughs> i think i haven't even put my card up yet <laughs> oh we had to get one didn't yeah. we so I think that's a good confirmation. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. And the fact that it's new beginnings, yeah. new cycles. And we have Mahi here. Um, do you feel or meet my future spouse or anything unique about him? You will, and you will know when the time happens, and I get you don't need to know beforehand. <laughs> yeah. I think it goes back to one of the other previous comments. It really is. Yeah. Enjoying the journey, having that fun in discovery and not really needing to yeah. know just to let that in a sense just relax that's and, it and, and i'm positive. just sort of drawn it and i quite often say this to a lot of my clients just live life have fun let the inner child come out and play and when the time is right the right person will be put in front of you because what we can quite often do is we try to push relationships we try to force it because we're lonely or whatever we can actually create an imbalance by doing that because we could be moving into a relationship that isn't right for us because it hasn't just been put there it hasn't happened naturally or with great ease sort of thing so it can bring more heartache with with it in the long run so go with the flow surrender trust and surrender yes and so on that note thank you leanne that's all right i am going to pop up my promo thingy oh wrong one we might as well have this now since i've popped that up <laughs> do type in the frets wherever you are on whichever page i'll go back to the four different pages i went to <laughs> do, to yours? do i need to look there i'm oh, not sure possibly post, i don't think i can't remember if i did or not I don't know. I haven't looked. Wherever Fritz has typed in the four that I've got in front of me as far as where the destinations went, I'll double check them and I'll add that into a spreadsheet so that you get the chance for the giveaway, which is that free reading. The other thing I was just going to show as well is that Leanne and I are in Wyala Friday next week. So it's only the week away. We are yeah. still going live, hopefully, if there's good mobile. Yes. <laughs> I'll have my internet with me, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, should be right. We'll have mine too. Anyway, um, so that will be next weekend from Friday, yep. Sunday morning. There's a couple of readings. Um, I mean, you're fully booked, mine's yeah. not. And on that night, did I type that in there, the Calendly link that I Yes, booked? I yep. did see it. Um, so you can book for the Wyala and Renmark ones. They're direct with me uh, for my sessions. There is a few left still, so you probably won't miss out if you want to share that with others that you know are in Wyala who would like to have a reading. I do tea leaf readings or the cut readings or just the straight intuitive. It doesn't matter. There's choice. Um, and because I like playing with the toys and the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> That's Go with the play. <laughs> I love doing it that way. Um, so that's still available. Um, I do have some links in here that I'm just going to pop them up. So that's a one question, three card reading. These links will show up here on, on your bottom of your chat. And that's a grand to blow. Now that really is the mother of all readings. It takes a bit of time, but it's so detailed. Yeah. And then this one. I still haven't practiced it much, but it's fun. It's using hieroglyph tiles. So if you want something completely different, 
that might be worth a try. And these <laughs> are the latest ones, the Curiosity tea cards. They're great. I'll be using them. They are so cute. I love them. It's a beaut system for good, clear readings yeah. as well. So there's those things to try out if you so desire. Thank you heaps for coming on tonight again. That's all right. <laughs> most weeks <laughs> thank you for having me i love it can i just say if anybody's in the northern suburbs we are at clemsick at the queen of wands uh i think it's a corner og road and northeast road uh, on sunday for the expo and there's uh i'm available for readings there too for that one or not no just i haven't <laughs> i just thought of it so Oh, here uh, it's at Spirituals Parks, isn't it? Yep, it's on my page. So, so it's on Leanne's page, but if you don't know where that is, I just typed it in. It should go <laughs> in a second because that's the next thing I was going to ask. There we go. Well, yeah. well uh, you are doing this one on Sunday, and there's yep. things in the books at, at some point. Uh, yeah, and then we're at Renmark on the 27th to 29th of August. And, um, and if you want us to come to a, what was that? Sorry, <laughs> got a book accommodation. Oh yeah, I did see your message before when I went looking for the link for tonight. Yeah. My my secretary <laughs> in the background is letting us know it's Clemsic Community Centre. Thank you, Mum. Oh, good. Here it is. You'll see the flags. <laughs> So uh, beautiful. But, yeah, if you want us to come to an area near you where you think that people would be interested in private readings, please inbox Ros or I because we're certainly open to looking at different places. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's all those. We rocky. like our road trips. Yeah, especially when there's going to be fresh rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to bring the chef with us at another time. <laughs> He's booked his seat for Kangaroo Island. <laughs> Just got to oh. work out when to go. Oh, that'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Are you chaps, baby? <laughs> when we can get yeah, that, we will. that issue sorted, when it is a good safe way. <laughs> Just me some snow. <laughs> oh, look, it's been wonderful. Thank you. And to each and every one of you out there watching, yeah. even those who might be running it as a replay, thank you so much for being with yeah. us. Uh, next week, hopefully it's going to be on time. We, you know, we'll see how it flows. <laughs> <laughs> it will be 8.30 again next Friday yeah. uh, from Wyala. <laughs> from Wyala. <laughs> we'll get it. Yeah. So thank you, everyone. And, oh, Louise is just saying she loves the teacup readings. Yeah. Thank you for that. No, and for the laughter. Look, we have fun. And we do. Thanks for joining and having laughter with us. Exactly. We wouldn't have as much fun if it wasn't for you guys out there, our fans. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Until next week or tomorrow morning for me if you yep. are part of watching the daily Lenham and Cards Red readings. Thank you. Thank Namaste you. to each and every one of you. Bye. 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 <laughs>